My name is Bad Snacks, and I had too much caffeine today. So I released a beat tape last week, so I thought that it would be fun to do kind of a beat breakdown of one of the beats. I did a couple surveys on Instagram, and one of your favorites seems to be Shiki no Uta, which was really fun for me to make because I didn't use any samples except for like drum one shots, and I figured it would be cool to show you. Shiki no Uta is the ending theme from my favorite anime ever, Samurai Champloo. It's just so beautiful and it's so nostalgic for me, and so I figured that I would do my own cover of it, my own instrumental cover of it. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in some of the samples from this and the beat tape, I do have a sample pack available right now, and the beat tape is out, so I really encourage you guys to go check it out. And for those of you who have checked it out and have messaged me about it, I can't even tell you how cool it is that you guys seem to be really liking it. So, um, yeah, so let's just get into it. Okay, so because the song already exists in the world, all I had to do is like transcribe it, and really it's just like a three chord song, it's a three chord jam. So the chords are like E flat minor 9, followed by a um, F minor 7, followed by like a B flat minor 9 extended forever. Really, really pretty chords. So I just used my Profit as a MIDI keyboard using the Applied Acoustic Systems Lounge Lizard. It's a really, really nice electric piano patch. And I just laid down the chords from here into MIDI. The next thing that I did was I used my Juno patch from the Arteria bundle, and it's that kind of tremolo sounding synth at the beginning, so it's that kind of sound. Um, and how I did that is I just played some chords over it, and then I used the Sound Toys tremolinator and just kind of tweaked it so that it had that a little bit of like a swing um, offset kind of thing. So I'm gonna track that down. After the keyboard and the Juno tremolo, I laid down my drum pattern, and I laid it down with my Akai MP, uh, MPK Mini here. All of, almost all of these drum sounds are on the sample pack. Um, so what I did with this is I just laid down my simple drum pattern, um, and then throughout the song I layered my snares, um, and I also added in hi-hats in certain places and took them out in other places, but for the most part I just wanted to keep like one kind of consistent sounding groove so that you know, the listener can kind of, I don't know, the listener can do whatever they want. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to keep that same groove going on through the whole song, basically, um, so that I could play with things a little bit more melodically. And yeah, so anyway, I'm going to lay down my drum pattern. So in Shiki no Uta, there are kind of really two main melodic parts, and those are the parts that I emphasized in my version. In this one, I stacked up like two octaves worth of Moog, and I just put it on this really nice sine wave kind of thing with a bunch of delay and reverb. This is what it sounds like dry, because you can't really beat a Moog lead sound. So I did that in two octaves, and I'm going to go lay that down right now. So on top of the Moog, uh, I wanted to add kind of like a shimmery effect, so I actually used a patch on my organelle here, um, which is the Waterfall Up patch, which is one of my favorites, and it kind of sounds like that. And it just gives like a really nice shimmery effect, so I put a bunch of reverb and delay on that as well, and then I layered it up with the Moog, and then in certain parts I just let it play by itself. So this was probably one of my favorite parts about uh, laying down this whole track is playing this bass line. And yeah, it's kind of like one of the things that um, 
actually I think I'm the most proud of throughout the whole beat tape is that I just really like writing bass lines. So uh, anyway, this is the bass line that I wrote for this. <laughs> One of my favorite things in the world is the fact that I can synthesize my violin through my organelle. It's kind of wild. It's this patch called Guitar to Arp. I can also use Guitar to Synth, but I actually kind of like how Guitar to Arp processes too. The tracking is really good. And when you put the signal chain through a bunch of effects, then you get something. Like that. So I'm going to play that in context. I didn't just put synthesized violin on there, I also put like three layers of real violin on there too. I got a lot of questions on how I track my strings, so there are a bunch of different methods, but the really short, quick, effective way to like really build a good string ensemble sound, what I'll do is I'll record like three takes of each voice that I want. I'll usually hard pan them and then adjust from there, but it kind of creates this widened sound when you have left, right, center. I EQ out the lows, I put them all through the same reverb bus, and usually that ends up blending pretty well. Also, there are string samples on the sample pack. Just saying, okay, I'm gonna vote that. <laughs> Yikes. So yeah, I'm going to record these violin parts. And then yeah, we're cool. That's basically the gist of how I made Shiki no Uta, and um, I'm sorry, I'm probably totally slaughtering how that's pronounced, but I love that song, and it's really, it's from one of my favorite animes ever, which is Samurai Champloo, so uh, I hope I didn't mess it up. <laughs> anyway, if you liked this, please go check out the Meat Tape 1. It's on Bandcamp, it's on Spotify, it's anywhere that you stream music. I also have that sample pack, and you guys, that have uh, been sending me videos with the sample pack, I was like in tears. You guys are all so amazing and uh, it means a lot. It's really, really cool. Yeah, so I might be MIA a little bit in the next couple weeks just because I have so much work, but I want to do more of these beat breakdowns and I also have a couple gear things that I want to talk about, which I'm really looking forward to. And I have a show on Saturday in Pomona and it's my birthday on Saturday. So I don't know, come through or whatever or stream my beat tape for my birthday. I don't know. I had too much caffeine today. I think that's all I have to say. Okay, thanks. Bye.